Hey guys, um, today I thought I'd change it up a bit and I would decide to do a Photoshop tutorial. Um, so this is just going to be a simple tutorial on how to make a GIF file in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Um, so first what we want to do is we want to open up our desired images, which I've just saved on the desktop. And I'm just going to select the Audi pictures. So I've got four different Audi pictures. And all I'm going to need to do is create frame animation, create frame animation, do that for the next two. And so it should, each window should have that at the bottom of it. So, as they do. And now, what all we have to do now is just simple. Um, I've downloaded these the same resolution, that, so they're all 800 by 400. And now all I'm going to do is go down to this little icon. And I'm just going to click copy frame. Go to this one. And paste frame. And then this will come up saying where you want to paste it, and we're just going to go paste after selection. So I'm just going to click OK. So now we've got that one, and then that one. Now I'm going to go to this picture, copy, and paste it. OK. And the last one. And paste. Alright, so we've got our four slides, and the only trouble is, is when we play them, it plays super fast. So, what we want to do as well is we just want to click forever, which will put them on a continuous loop. So, it should like look like that, but if you don't want a seizure, um, we're just going to select all of them by holding down the control button, and clicking on our different frames, and just go down to this little arrow, and we can change the speed. So, we'll try... 0.2 seconds and for a, such a gorgeous car we're actually going to speed that up a little bit you know, slow that down a little bit more so you can see more of the individual cars and there you have it now what we have to do is we have to go up to our file save for web not save as because save as will not give you the GIF format and we just want to click that and we'll drag that over here and it'll already be selected as GIF um, then all we have to do is just click save and I'll save it on the desktop for now and I'll just make it Audi R8 GIF save so now we can go to our desktop folder and just find our Audi R8 GIF. There we have it. And it'll open with my Google Chrome. So there you have it. That's the most simple way to make a GIF file using Adobe Photoshop CS6 uh, without using the same pictures or the same frames. We, In this case, we used four separate pictures and put them into one timeline. Thank you for watching. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and I will have more Revit videos up soon, and I will start to put up some Corel X5 videos and Inventor, and possibly more Google SketchUp. But for now, I will talk to you later. See you.